Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New Tales from the Borderlands. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series, and as always, if you guys do enjoy it, make sure you hit that like subscribe button. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Don't oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoos. Move your tush. <clears throat> I'm the new guard, and I'm relieving you. Right now. Who hired you? Uh, Jim... Jiminy... Jimerson. Jim... Jiminy... Jimerson. Oh, he knows I need these hours. You're not winning this one, Jim Jiminy Jimerson. I'm not playing your game. I'm standing right here. Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, who? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous. I feel... I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here, in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. That's funny. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Let's get into okay. it. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people okay. with a half-baked plan to win some money. Okay. Hey, future losers. <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces. This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Pear Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So... What are you bringing to the sink? Ooh, <laughs> you'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to like waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on, hit me with it, you, nervous girl. I'm your dry run. Let me see it at least. Come on, hit me with it. Give me your pitch, or I'll kill you. Ha! Just joshing, or am I? Ha! Um, you can see it. But that's it. Otherwise, you'll learn about our project along with the judges. Oh, wow. So you don't actually have a pitch. That's, ooh, that's embarrassing. What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update, I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. 
Maybe I should have punched him in the face too, just to make sure he got the message. In Fran's defense, he had a very punchable face. In, in fact, if I could create an index of all the punchable faces, I, I'd, I'd punch them in order, starting with his. Sick Got him, burn, dude. Sis. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending joke was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident. Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that fog TV swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm... Oh, God! I could answer your question, but why not respond with another question? Because I'm asking for your help? But what if I deflected the focus back to you? That would be incredibly annoying. And yet, what does it mean to truly be annoying? Enough! Oh. <sighs> Pitch and public speaking aside, all that stuff Palantine said, we focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh -huh. But does it need more style? Is our device just... Just quit? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person. I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> Who cares how it looks? It's what comes out of the shooty end that counts. But what if Valentine's right? And if it doesn't look cool enough, what if they pass on us before they even see what comes out of the shooty end? Oh, now you've got me saying shooty end. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more, Octavio. What do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine. You're about to get octavio all the usual fare, I see. <gasps> oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. You gotta squash your bugs first. Uh, fire. Inner pit. Let's see what we got. 508. No. Oh. Nice. That's so funny. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. 
How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. Pardonnez-moi. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. It's over and done with. You can go back to worrying about the millions of other things you worry about. Just please, please stop sweating everywhere. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim. Yada, yada, yada. We're on in five. I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar. And this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh. Okay. You. You're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. That's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got a style. Guy like that will do anything for ratings. He's got an eye for the pageantry of it all. Is that good? It means we'll have to meet him on his level. Go for spectacle. Don't focus on the nerdy stuff. But the nerdy stuff is my stuff. Oh, don't worry, honey. When in doubt, just do something violent. All right, Pierre. Let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I'm in sabotage. Sabotage. That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also, very cool. Okay, you know what? I did sabotage this product. Octavio! And I'd do it again, too. One thousand times. You know why? Because I did it for you. That's sweet, Oc. Ethically very wrong. But sweet. Yeah, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show, 
Unfortunately, your pitch... It's a ball! No, I swear, it does more! So much more! Somebody said tampered with the algorithm! I've been cheated! Swindled! Uh, hard swoggled! And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, The little futz turned out to be a big futz. You messed with his device. You... You killed him! He woke up alive, crossed paths with you, and now he's dead! Let's not be hasty. We don't know if he's actually dead. Oh, and chunks of Pierre Palantine's spine and ribcage are flown into the surface! And wow! These sharks are feasting on all his internal organs, all the ones he need to survive. They're all chewed up in the shark's belly. Yes, sir, there can be no doubt that Pierre Palantine is absolutely, definitively, 100% dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean. For our next guest! I knew he was a showman. Oh, I hate it when I'm right. Oh my god! If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anurata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently, we have nothing to say about it. <laughs> Octavia! You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar! Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? question for me, but also my two trusted teammates. <laughs> no project is built by one woman alone. A and really, aren't we all standing on the shoulders of giants? Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. I'm ready to swim. <laughs> okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So you were saying something about a giant ass woman? That's not exactly what I- Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Answer questions with more questions. I don't know. Am I doing great? What's that? 
What do you think I said? I beg your pardon? Do you? Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present. Um, the anti-gun device, I guess? anti-gun device! Well, that's a pretty confusing name for a gun. Device. See? Confusing. Alright. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. Ah. Wow. What a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye! <laughs> oh, thank you. It's definitely not quite, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another arm. I made it about me. I cynically placed myself as an invaluable asset to the company. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time um, coming to charm, am I right? <laughs> um, For your sake at least. I don't know which one to pick. Powered by our wondrous imaginations. Well, how do you know that? I don't. But here's a better question. How do we not know that? <sighs> you seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button, this laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. This guy is a showman, I'll give him that. Does it float? That's funny. XBX down X. Bam! A haymaker to the shark face. Beautiful. Behind you. Oh, it's the uppercuts and through its face. That is so metal. That's so funny. Oh, the shark manatee! 
The Sharks are swimming, score! What kind of finishing move could she even... Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. This is funny. But yes, she's done it. She's got Anu and she's coming back. Well, at least you get to show him the heli gun now. Thanks. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this. I loved your pitch. I... you... Really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang up job. Yeah, it felt good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm going to do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up! Stay with us! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's no use! She said something else! Something else! I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out. It's working. <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun. Device. Ah, oh, diggity, you scared me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth to mouth? Harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and envies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel investor! Who is it? Who, who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcers, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Let's go, baby. Let's go. What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sing. Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it 
often around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. did not sink, we swam. I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly, classic blood loss. I'm not so sure, it, it felt- Who cares, we got our money, cash paper. My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you. Uh. I could, but I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked, I, and not just because, you know, you were gonna die, but I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels off-brand. Oh, I wouldn't be able to go on without you either. Yeah, that's because you'd be dead. Right, but I... Like, incredibly dead. Okay. Way too dead to hang. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Oh. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg. It saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran... Thanks. Same. Ladies, I think it's safe to say things are looking up. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how do you, if it ain't my intrepid inventors, what I invested in? What's the angel investor? Well, shucks now. Ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's gotta be a catch. Fran, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half? We accept. We accept. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Go! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever, I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. Of course we did. You should have seen it, Lou. I hacked this Jack Hat's ball thing. Which got him killed. <laughs> ball thing. And we gave the audience a live demonstration that will live on in infamy. It was so epic, some anonymous Brazilianaire called into the show and funded our company. We're super rich now! He is embellishing again, isn't he? Actually, no. That's more or less what happened. I am relieved that you are not dead. And that you are no longer poor. Plus 500 skateboards for us. That's not how the system works. There is a complicated calculus involved in your skateboard metric, Francine. And, judging by your expressions and the overall, quote, vibe, unquote, I measure your team morale score in skateboards as, eh. You have indeed secured funding, but there is room for improvement. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. 
I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. Six. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitation alarms me. Oh, perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope for me. Don't sweat, you're killing it. That is the entire problem. Oops. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. It was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Fran's frogates left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat-cutting motion? France Frogerts isn't dead, dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, France Frogerts is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. Let me find the new HQ. I have an eye for real estate and I'm a great negotiator. <laughs> yeah, sure. If by eye for real estate you mean cheap, and by great negotiator you mean willing to turn people into popsicles. <sighs> Ice cold player. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? An armory to defend itself against both random and targeted attacks. No. Sure. Maybe. But also, staff. You, me, Anu, and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, 
execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff. And Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. Like, think. Look at us! Working together separately to get this business off the ground. Indeed. This deserves a skateboard. How good are you, skateboard? Just think, when we meet back up, this business will be operational! Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess... This is it, then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. I love this place more than anything. Franz Frogerts was my first love. But I have more to love now. Friends, Frogerts are frozen. The Frogerts are frozen. The frozen is frickin' Frogerts around. <sighs> well, come on, bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw! Hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching this episode. If you guys did like it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. You don't know who's having a bad day and maybe you'll just change the way they're looking at the day by just being nice to them. So, um, yeah, appreciate you guys. And as always, thanks for hanging out. Peace. I'm out.